<laughs> oh god, there's a camera. <laughs> oh god, it's Rob. <laughs> Salutations Planet Earth, I'm Rob Chapman, slightly fatigued and mediocre today, eating a little bit of banana to get my energy high. Been hunting for Andrew Ferris all day long. Oh, thank you. Yes, please put that in the tent, thank you. Uh, and uh, I can't find him, so I'm just going to go and shoot a little video where I roam around TGU and summon women called Laura to my immediate aid with the click of my fingers. Ready? Three, two, Laura. Hey, and I brought something for you. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's good. Have fun. <laughs> she knows me so well. The first thing you need to know about TGU is they really look after you in the food department. Here we have <clears throat> melon. Here we have bread rolls with salt on them. So you quench your thirst and then you get slightly more dehydrated. This yeah, is Pete I've... Cultural, by the way. He's a phenomenally good guitar player. Uh, and he normally plays Chapman guitars, so this is Chapman's new... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is a different kind of ML. <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> and then bananas, grapes. Yeah. It's getting warm here, man. Right, let's take a look. Hello. Oh, hey. <laughs> so, Paul Reed Smith guitars, PRS. Um, obviously fantastic. Actually, First time I tried a PRS acoustic was yesterday uh, in my other guys, and it was wow, that was a really great sounding beverage. I think what I was most surprised at, <laughs> sorry, I've just covered myself in first rosmarin, um, was that the neck felt so nice. It felt like playing an electric guitar neck, but it was an acoustic guitar. Of all of these PRS, I Obviously, this is the one that everyone wants. Burlwood McCarty 594. I'm only going to hold it with this hand because I've got Farish on my other hand. But look how beautiful that is. And rest assured, it smells of gun oil. It smells beautiful. This is the Angelus A40E. Angelus. It's a beautiful guitar. And look, the neck is kind of, it's a little bit fat, but it's the same kind of uh, feel as a regular PRS neck. I know they have a bunch of different dimensions and shapes, but I'm saying regular as a generic term so that you feel comfortable yeah, with this being be nice. almost like an electric guitar yeah. neck. <laughs> I, I might play it for you. Cherries, more fruit. Um, we're about to do a video together, aren't we? Yeah, we're about to play Pantera's Walk while so, walking, and I've asked Rob to, uh, yeah. to contribute. Pete, knowing that I've been playing guitar for at least 30 years, thought it would be a really good idea to have me in a video walk, walking and saying walk. <laughs> Hi hey guys, we're with Universal Audio at the Ox stand. This is Tom. That you might have heard of Mary Spender. She's from the internet as well. Uh, Tom just blew my mind by explaining that I could hook up my little tiny twin into an X8. You can. Actually, people don't often realise you can have four Apollos connected. Four. Really? Yeah. So I mean, we've done sessions with people where we've had three of them or four of them hooked up for up to 32 inputs, for example. So you know, with an X8, you've got four preamps. With the twin, you've got two. That gives you six mics. Right. And you could travel with the twin, or even the arrow can hook in. Yeah. The small little bus-powered one. So you could take that on the tour bus. Right. Uh, and just do a couple of mics. And that's DIY. everything in it. <coughs> yeah, it's got one chip of processing. So if you, you probably know there's the UAD2 processors on board. Yeah. This is what we call a solo core, so you'll run plugins on that box on a single processor. You can get the twin in one, two or four chips and the racks are all six now. 
So you'd actually get with your twin and the rack, you'd end up with sort of uh, maybe 10 cores of processing. What you're saying, what you're saying, Tom, is that I need to go and buy the new Mac Pro. Is that what you're saying? Well, you can actually run it on Thunderbolt 1 or Do Thunderbolt 2. Do I need as two, many so cores? Actually, you don't. As many cores as inputs. You're saying um, I should buy the new Mac Pro. Same way. <laughs> Three. Um, spec. Spec. Am I going to hear a, a click? Yeah. It, well. So what is this model? This is the A265E. Yeah, um, we have a whole line of uh, acoustics, SE acoustics that we import, and they're all made to our specifications. So right. we, at PRS, we have like a, a little boutique section with luthiers that hand make guitars. Yeah. And so these are representative of our imported line. Right. Of them. So oh, I see. yeah, yeah wow. it's been it's been going well. Do you know I've I've just realized all of a sudden that I've, I've owned and played PRS for nine years yeah. and demonstrated PRS for about 10 years, but never actually met anyone for PRS. No way! Oh, no way! <laughs> in fact, I used to be endorsed by PRS. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's probably long overdue. Hello, I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Jean. Nice to meet you, Jean. Nice to meet you, Whereabouts too. are you from? Right from the factory. Right. Yeah, right from the factory. Wow. So, I live about eight minutes away and have been there for seven years. I should say that I have met Paul. Okay. In fact, the last time, in fact, you can tell him this. Okay. <clears throat> the last time I met Paul, I mentioned that I really liked this particular guitar. It was uh, a Myra. And Paul, off camera, went, "Have Rob sent this Myra?" And I th and I laughed, thinking he was joking. Yeah. So I laughed it off. And then a month later, I received a Myra. Uh, and I felt embarrassed because I had obviously thought that he was kidding, so I didn't say thank you at the time. Oh, and then okay. I got this guitar. So thank you, Paul. There you and go. Please, please tell Paul thank you from me. I will. I, I appreciate will. that. It was nice, nice to get a mirror in the mail. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, a mail mirror. Mirror. Yeah. Mirror. Mirror, mirror. Mirror. And then the only chocolate bar they seem to have here is the Twikes. <laughs> if you've never experienced the Twikes, you're probably American. There are two of them. That's the gimmick. You have one, you got another one spare. It's very thoughtful of Cadbury. At the end of it, you could like, just kind of freak out and join us like walking in a circle. <clears throat> and here's a preview of something Mary recently wrote in a cool riff through an ox with a V40 slightly gunned. You know what, I've never seen such a swift V harmonic in my life. That was like, bing! Yeah. <laughs> that was really nice. Have you got a name for it yet? I am not yours. But have you got a name? <laughs> Jog! What's your favourite guitar here? And why is it that one? Um, actually, actually, I prefer this one. The CE Bolton, have uh -huh. you tried this? This is the Pori Smith CE24 set neck. This particular one, in case you're really interested, is 19027244. It's a really nice guitar, and I recommend if you can afford to purchase it, you can get ahead, do it. And it sounds like this. <laughs>
So in that tent, there's a bit of a yellow light coming down. So this is what it actually looks like outside in the flesh. It's purple. It's not kind of a orangey brown color. So this is it in the shade. And then this is it just coming into the sunlight. Yeah, man, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful guitar. Do I walk? I can do what you want. Uh, walk a couple steps forward, because we're not going to have numbers. There. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Just start and then load it when it goes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Try to stay a little Lord more evenly. Like, Try you know, to slow down a little bit. So we're, okay, here we go. Three. Specs. Walk. Are you talking to me? Three. Specs. Walk. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? <laughs> no way, punk. <laughs> Alright, that would do. <laughs> that was good, I feel better about that. Is that your guitar? No. This, this is, is a UA office guitar. Yeah, you right. can see. This is the hangout on the couch at UA yeah. guitar. Um, well, first of all, I should say, if you want to follow UA, go boom. You audio. If you want to follow Mary, go boom. Right, and then can I have a go on that strap? <laughs> Well, that about wraps it up here for Rob Chapman at Toman's TGU, a closer look at what was inside the tent. I hope you've really enjoyed this. I'm not using this microphone at all. It's just, it's a gimmick, it's a prop. I hope you've really enjoyed. Thank you to China Skeptic Mike for giving me this <laughs> SM57. Uh, and thank you to Shaw for creating one of the best microphones of all time and space. I hope you've enjoyed following me around and, I, and I'd like you to click subscribe, but only if it's convenient to you and your hand is hovering in that area. And also touch my bell. Take it easy. Chap is considerably out.